Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today we're going to do a little comparison between a pot with the heat exchanger in the bottom and a standard pot with no heat exchanger and see what the difference in boil time is going to be. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Um, I recently did a video on the uh, wide C uh, cook system that with the heat exchanger uh, base on it. And just so happen, I also, from the same company, wide C, have a uh, just one of their standard aluminum pots. And so that's this would be a perfect because you got both the same pots, although it'd be different burners. But anyway, <laughs> basically the same pot. They're they're same size. They both hold, uh, what's this one say? Yeah, they both will hold 750. I think it's the exact same pot, but they just uh, manufacture uh, this one with the heat exchanger on the bottom. As you can see, they're fairly close in size. So I think this would be a pretty, at least these things will be equal. Uh, so I thought just to see what happens, we'll just do a couple of burn tests. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, to get started, I'll, uh, I'll do this one first and we'll Go ahead, set this one up. I'll get back to you. Okay, I have the heat exchanger pot all set up. I've got two cups of 58 degree water. So let's fire it up and see how long it takes. Okay, I'll uh, get back to you when uh, we get closer to a boil. Okay, getting close. Uh, 208 degrees in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Water's starting to boil in the pot. Three minutes and 42 seconds. All right, so now I'll go set up for the uh, non-heat exchanger boil test. Okay, got her all set up for the uh, boil test. I've, again, I've got uh, 16 ounces at uh, 58 degrees. So we'll go ahead and uh, light this off and see how long it takes. Boy, this little stove's a rocket. Okay, we're on our way. I'll go ahead and uh, shut this down and get back to you when we get a little closer to the boil. Okay, getting close, 209. We're already a minute uh, slower than with the heat exchanger pot. Yep, starting to boil. There we go. We'll say uh, four minutes and 46 seconds. So definitely uh, oops, turn this off. The heat exchanger does make a difference, so that's going to save you in the fuel. You're going to you lose a little weight for the heat exchanger, but then you gain on the fuel saving. So eh, it's probably all six one half does another, unless you know weight. If you're if you're an astronaut going into space, then weight definitely has, makes a big difference on cost. But probably most of us, it's not going to make that much difference. Okay, let's summarize this uh, between the two pots, and I should have mentioned earlier that these are hard anodized aluminum pots. That's probably why they're a little bit cheaper. But anyway, so the difference is between the uh, two, basically the same pots, one with a heat exchanger, one without. The uh, boil time for the heat exchanger pot for uh, 58 degrees at was three minutes and 42 seconds. And with the non-heat exchanger pot uh, at 58 degrees, it was four minutes and 46 seconds. So you're saving almost, saving a little over a minute uh, using the uh, heat exchanger pot. So definitely makes a difference in uh, boil time. And also, I think it also helps uh, a little bit with the uh, wind resistance. So you probably even save more if it, any windy conditions at all. Although you should always have some sort of a windscreen no matter what the pot is, uh, makes a big difference. Also, another thing I got to thinking about with this spot too, especially in colder weather, you've got this little insulating jacket around it, so that will save any heat loss, especially with any kind of a breeze uh, in cold weather around an unwrapped un, 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 uh, pot. So that's the other advantage. And of course, you can't really wrap this pot because then you'd get, uh, you'd melt it in a normal stove because here the heat goes out and away, where here the, sometimes it'll li lip up lap up the side. So maybe that lapping up the side would counter the, uh, wouldn't make any difference in the end 
whether you have the two jackets or not. I guess the only way to to really tell would to go out when it's really cold and give it a try, which I may or may not do. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Of course, I could also uh, take this jacket off, and since it does come off, and see what kind of difference that is. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Sometimes you know I'm just sitting around thinking about things and coming up with ideas for these videos, or they just kind of serendipitous. The only reason it did this comparison, I bought this pot actually before this one, just to uh, just because. So that's not straight too far from the topic. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.